Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about token-driven opening statements. We recommend in our classes that you have a cumulative uh, opening statement on every estimate that you submit, every invoice that you write. Uh, we would like to show you how to speed up those opening statements and use the tokens that already exist within Xactimate to use the information that you entered in the other parts of the claim. As you can see here, I have an estimate already open. It's the level one 3D repair. It's what we use in our uh, level one Xactimate training classes. Uh, down here in the parameters tab, you'll find the opening statement. And as you can see, I already have a statement here loaded with some of the tokens that we use in our typical statements. I'm gonna hit edit so that you can see it in its totality here. It says, dear insured name. The estimate corresponds to the property located at insured street in insured city and insured state. All fairly straightforward. Over here you have the estimate and its total its value is the sum of the ACV. Now those numbers don't populate here because they're the pre-made tokens in the text that um, ends up on the report. But to find these tokens, it's right here, this T box. It normally looks like a text box, but it's actually a token. So you left click that and you'll see here a list of all the tokens that are available in Xactimate that are pre-created for you. Now, let's say I wanted to use, find a name, preload the name. I could use the agent name, the claim rep name, the claimant name, the estimator name, the insured's name, things that we've used up here, estimator name here, insured name here. So these are all pre-made for you. Take the time to go through here and understand all of the tokens that are here and come up with an opening statement that is customizable. We don't want to copy paste in every situation, but at least this gives me the basics such that now I can individually sp speak in this statement as to the specific loss at hand and the general common details that should be included in every opening statement are there. Um, to give you an idea of where that information is loading from, let's go over here to the insured info tab and you'll see Lord Vader. 1234 divorce code is the address in San Diego, California. The estimator is Mark Watley in this situation. So when I go to print up here in the top right and I want to look at the report, I'm gonna select final draft in this case and click view down here. When this opens up, I'm gonna have an opening statement on the front page. It doesn't say dear insured name and insured address and insured city and insured state. It says dear Lord Vader. This estimate co corresponds to the property located at 123 Divorce Court in San Diego, California. It took the information that I'd already put in other aspects of the estimate and included it in the opening statement through these tokens. This is how you create a token-driven opening statement. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have ideas for an opening statement that you like to use or a specific token that you think is underappreciated and could be highlighted, let us know. Um, in the meantime, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube page for weekly exact tax videos that come out every Thursday. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.